DJI T40. Um, we've had these drones since 2022, put three seasons on them now. Um, how we landed on DJI, we just like the simplicity of it. We like um, the robustness of it and the pr productivity, uh, the way the, the software is easy to use, very user friendly. You just put a battery in it, that just slides in right here. And then um, if we're at the field, we would fold out our arms, lock them in as we're folding them out. This one here, you're gonna see it's got two white props on it. Um, that is what the color that they've gone to. And so at the end of each season, we go through the props, just make sure that there's no chips or cracks or anything. And as there are, um, we'll put new props on. We always put two. If we're gonna replace one prop, we'll replace the adjacent one on that motor. You're actually looking at the front of the machine right now. Um, lights here. This is the radar on it and the camera there. Right now we've got the dry spreader in it. Um, that's this big tank here. Um, really similar to like a, a floater truck or a spinner spreader. It's just got a, a plate on the bottom that's rotating and you can adjust that RPM to adjust your spread pattern. Uh, you see down in the tank there, there's an agitator um, just to keep product flowing correctly. So I think one thing that guys need to uh, to really understand is the autonomy that these drones have. Uh, they can be a little intimidating when you look at something this big that's going to be flying in the air. Guys think there's no way I, I'm going to feel comfortable flying one. They truly are autonomous. I mean, when you come to a field and you map out that field and you tell it how wide you want to spray and how high above the crop and how fast and, and what your droplet size is set at, and then you fill it with product and fill and put a new battery in it and you hit go, it knows that that task, that mission, and it's gonna go complete it without you even really needing to touch the controller. Now you're still gonna have the controller in your hand in case it runs into an issue where it sees something and stops and, and wants a prompt to, to have permission to continue. But really, the majority of my flights, it's take off, it does its mission without me touching it, it comes back when it's empty, it hovers, it asks for permission to land, I hit yes, land, and then I'm pulling the battery out uh, putting a new battery in and refilling it with product and then hitting go again. It's the autonomy in these drones is amazing.